Well, my number one issue with the proposal is, look, now is not the right time. The challenge facing football now is ensuring particularly the EFL has uh, the resources uh, to enable it to its clubs to survive. Uh, now, I know the Premier League and the on, EFL... On that issue, I've, can I just jump in there? Because I don't want to run out of time. And, yeah. you know, you asked Premier League clubs to help lower league clubs. And two of the biggest have said, OK, we'll give a £250 million payment and ongoing support. So you say that's acceptable, unacceptable. What is your plan instead? Well... This this deal does not command support through, throughout uh, the, the Premier League at all. So rather than doing backroom deals to try and uh, reform football at this critical moment, I would rather that they are working together to ensure the, the future of football. Now, I know that those conversations have ensured, for example, that it won't be the case that they will allow a club to go to the wall. But we do need a more comprehensive package. If you look at uh, the Premier League, I believe during the last uh, transfer window, over a billion pounds is spent. That's more than the, the four largest clubs in Europe after the Premier League put together. There are the resources there. And I have to say that if they can't get together and work together to sort this out, we will have to return to what we promised in our manifesto, which is a fan-led review of football governance, because I think many fans will be concerned about what they are reading today.